Let's be honest, when you're searching how to advance your cloud engineering career, the advice you find often falls short. You might hear, get certified. So you dedicate time and money to certifications only to discover they don't necessarily translate into career growth or salary bumps. Build personal projects. So you spend your evenings and weekends on passion projects, but it's still unclear how they showcase your skills to potential employers. And my favorite, network more. So you attend industry events and connect with people on LinkedIn, on Twitter, but the process feel forced and rarely leads to genuine opportunities. And by the way, I don't know if you have noticed, but LinkedIn is becoming a bit of a mess lately. The truth is, while these steps can be helpful, they often overlook the core skills, the real skills that truly distinguish successful cloud professionals. Let's talk about what those are and how you can acquire them to go from a cloud newbie into a sought after cloud expert. My name is Ilyas, I'm a senior cloud architect. Now let's do this. It's clearly not enough in this day and age to just get certified or to just build a few personal projects. Employers are looking for specific skills, specific expertise. So what are they looking for? Yeah, knowing a bit of everything is cool, but becoming a master of one platform that's where the power lies, my friends. This is something we've been talking about a lot in the channel. Specialization is the name of the game. Choosing one field and striving to become the best at it. I mean, look at this job opening by Netflix. Look at the salary. Look at how rewarding is to be a network specialist for a company that deals with heavy traffic. You can't get that by being a generalist. You just can't. Or look at the pay range for being an application security expert at Coinbase versus specializing further, becoming a blockchain security expert. The difference is not small. This is why I always urge my mentees to choose one technology, one programming language, one framework, something, anything, and striving to become the expert in it. Because that kind of deep knowledge is pure gold for employers. And guess what? Big companies like Google, like Amazon, like Microsoft, they are in constant war for talent. And they are willing to pay top dollars for experts, even even if they don't need them right now. Heck, sometimes Meta could hire you just so you're not available for Google to hire you. Just look at the current talent war between Tesla, OpenAI, and Meta for AI alignment and mechanistic interpre in interpretability experts. <sighs> Dwarkish makes it sound too easy. This is very niche, but it has very high salaries, right? And that's where you wanna be. Choose one cloud and conquer the sh out of it. All right, who doesn't love saving money? Companies are obsessed with it because cloud costs can get easily out of hand if you're not careful. Trust me, I know, watch this. Knowing how to optimize cloud costs isn't just about saving money, it's about being resource efficient. It's about mastering tools and techniques to right size instances to leverage reserved instances and you know and other cost saving techniques that will make you a cost saving champion and listen i don't want to be that guy who says i told you so but i told you so FinOps is a growing field and it's a great way to stand out in the cloud industry, bring in that mix of financial and technical skills. Watch this video if you want a lightweight yet complete introduction to the world of FinOps. I personally spent a lot of time learning about FinOps these past six months and been compiling a lot of resources and knowledge into a course that I am planning to release very, very soon. At this time, I'm just waiting for the right partner given the, uh, the uh, structure of the course. So if you are interested, send me a message. Clicking around, manually configuring servers, please. That's ancient history. CloudFormation, Terraform, Pulumi, these are your new best friends. They will help you automate everything, making things faster, making things reliable, scalable, but most importantly, replicable. 
I mean, how can you even talk disaster recovery if you can't replicate your infrastructure in a matter of minutes? And how can you replicate your infrastructure if it still requires manual intervention? It's just a no-brainer at this point. You know what? With great cloud power comes great responsibility for security. There's absolutely no way around it. Those who understand how to secure cloud infrastructure, data, applications, those who know their way around vulnerability management, incident response, those are the ones who will always be in demand. This includes knowing how to configure, you know, in the world of AWS, security groups, IAM roles, encryption, as well as understanding compliance standards like GDPR, HIPAA, PCI. In my humble opinion, showcasing your security expertise is like having a superpower that protects your company's valuable data. And that's a skill every employer wants. And lastly, building your personal brand. And this is not about vanity metrics, you know, it's about creating content that showcases your expertise. It's about positioning. It's about becoming a thought leader. It's about attracting opportunities. An example of these are, you know, sharing your knowledge through blogs, LinkedIn article, or even hilarious cloud memes. You also want to be active in the cloud community, you know, attend meetups, contribute to open projects when you can. This is, this is how you can build credibility. That's the word I'm looking for. Credibility and visibility in the industry. You need both. I personally started this very YouTube channel to share my knowledge and experience with the cloud community. And it has opened, you know, many doors for me, amazing people, job offers, and even allowed me to start my own consulting business. So building your personal brand, I think it's not just a nice to have. In today's world, you're not just a cloud engineer. You are a content creator, a community builder, and also a cloud influencer. Just a word of advice, don't go out there guns blazing with GPT generated content. When everyone is using AI to generate LinkedIn content, at, at this point, LinkedIn is like an extension to, to ChatGPT. The real value is in the authenticity of your content. So I would say, bring that human touch back. And there you have it. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? And if you wanna dive deeper into any of these topics, you'll find a lot of resources in the description below, as well as links to previous videos where we talked about these topics. My name is Elias, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.